quite know what to say, but all I can tell you tonight is that I love the Lord and I appreciate Him for what He's done for me. Yeah. Um, don't know where to go, so many directions that I could, that, that in my head is going, but um, first of all, I want to tell you that I love the Lord and I appreciate the Lord for what He's done for me, and I, yeah. I thank God for where He brought me from to where I am today, yeah. and I... I listened to Brother Marlowe as he began to exhort us here in the beginning of the service and yeah. how exciting it was and how you get excited and, and, and how you how we as Christians, we, we listen to a man preach and we say, go, 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 but we just sit back there and say, go, go, go. But tonight, I want to stand here and tell you that I am appreciative of what God has done for me and how he has blessed me and blessed Amen. you and blessed this church. Not just me, but how he's blessed us to be together and be a part of each other and love one another through all of our differences and yes. everything that we go through, we can love one another. Yes. But I was thinking uh, earlier, even this afternoon, I was thinking as Brother Marlo was teaching us and I was reminiscing over my life over the last, maybe the last 10 years, the last 12 years of my life I, and, and this word has come to me over the last couple of days and I'm really trying to figure out how God wants me to go and maybe this is wh how what direction tonight but this word has really come to me and it came to me more Thursday afternoon as I was going through some trying times in the business and I was trying to figure out why 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 Lord why do you let things like this happen to me why do why do you just let good things or bad things happen to good people that try and do the, the right thing and are really loving God's people and yeah. think that they're happening? Uh, to make a long story short, they stole over $15,000 from me on Thursday from a job that I was on. They come and took everything that we had in a trailer. I said, Lord, what in the world are you doing for me? Why would you put me through this? Why would you get me through all of this? Lord, I'm so, I'm tired. I, I'm, I'm done all of this. It's one word, and it really struck me as I was leaving. He didn't take nothing from me. It was just people in the world. God didn't take That's nothing it. from me. That's right. That's God it. didn't take nothing oh, from me. So I want to tell you right now, that was all me. That's it. That was all the enemy. That's it. First thing that happens to you as a Christian when you go through something terrible is God's doing it to you. But he isn't. But God's not doing anything to you. You're doing it to you. The enemy is doing it to you. Yes. But this one word came to me as I was finally closing up my day Thursday. And you know we're humans. All right? Yes. I don't know if you are, but I am. Yes. You poke me, I hurt. You punch me, I hurt. I eat the wrong foods, I get, I'm human. So as I was going home Thursday, this word come to me. Rededication. And I said, Lord, I thought I was okay. I thought I was good. Why would you want me to rededicate my life? Lord, I love you. I serve you every day. I tell people about you. I, I try my very best. But as I went to bed, even Thursday night, this word, rededication. And as I was sleeping, I woke up and I seen, I don't know if it's a dream, a vision. I don't know how to do all of that. I don't get those things. So I don't know how to tell you what took place with me. But I could see the people. Right. Yeah. I could see people that had been for years, I seen the faces of people that had just been there for years, and there was these big love looking love seat looking things. You know, I don't want to call them love seats because it's weird to me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't want to tell you something, but I know what I seen and I can tell you what, what I visioned right. as I was right. laying there. But there was these big chairs, look like look like love seats so to speak that I was looking at about 50 people I guess I just I can't really pick out all the faces but there was some as I was laying there and, and I could see them and all this word came to me kept coming to me overnight was rededication 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 yes, so I don't know if that's for anybody or if it's just for me well, but I, I want to give it to you tonight it's just in case everyone. it was for you so I don't get in trouble because I didn't give you the word that God gave to me but if you need to rededicate your life tonight if you need to take another step in God tonight if you need to move one step further tonight in Jesus Christ I want to encourage you to do so I want to tell you tonight that you do not have to sit there any longer and wonder why why, 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 why? 
but he's here tonight to say that Jesus Christ still saves. He still lives. He still loves. He's still God. He's still the same. He's not going to change. He's still your Savior. He's still your healer. He's still your baptizer. He's still your God. He's still everything. He's still on the throne. He's not leaving. He's not going anywhere. This world didn't give it to me. The world can't. Over my life, I had many chances in my life to live on the, to, to, I don't want to say it that way. I've had many chances in my life to take the wrong turn and wind up in the wrong place. But there was a mighty hand of God that was there to direct me in another direction. You personally have been in places in your life to where you could have made the wrong turn. But it wasn't the wrong turn. It was the hand of God that made the right turn that kept you where you are and led you in the direction that you're going tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I, too, could have been an alcoholic. Yes, But God didn't lead me in that direction. You, too, could have been an alcoholic, but he delivered you from that direction. I, too, could have been a drug addict, but he didn't lead me in that direction. You, too, could be a drug addict, but he didn't lead you in that direction. You, too, could be a sinner tonight. You, too, could be lost living on the street. You, too, tonight could be without God and his son. But you're not tonight. You're standing in the almighty hand of Jesus Christ, knowing that your destiny is for real and that he has it already under, the, under control. He knows exactly where you're going, when you're going to be there. You don't know what tomorrow holds. If you did, you would already be pre-planning to make sure it would go in the right direction. Yes. Wouldn't you? Yes, I would. I surely would. Me? I personally plan my days out, but I guarantee you in the life and days of Stuart Tennis Courts, I don't know how the rest of you guys go, but it never goes the way I want it to go. Never. It don't happen. It will not. I can say you're going here, you're going here, you're going here, I'm going there, I'm going there. I guarantee you, before I leave my driveway, somebody else was going where somebody else wasn't going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Never, works Never works the right way. Brother Larry used to tell me, man, you ought to make a diary or some kind of book of what happens every day because it would be absolutely, probably one of the best written books. But let me tell you something. It doesn't necessarily, I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I know somebody that holds tomorrow. Amen. 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 That's right. See, I can't preach you some great, elaborate, what he gave us today. Well, I'll be chewing on that for a month. Still trying to sort it all out. I watched that video probably a hundred times trying to figure out all of that and sort it all out. That's not my calling. But I can tell you right now what your calling and my calling is, and that's to be led by the almighty hand of God and let Jesus Christ direct our paths whichever we should go. The Bible said, in all, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. It doesn't necessarily matter what your neighbor's telling you to do, what your mama's telling you to do, what your daddy's telling you to do, what the lawyer's telling you to do, what somebody's telling you to do. If you'll find yourself humble under the mighty hand direct your path. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all. All. If you're wondering where you're going tomorrow, don't worry about it. He knows. Right now, he's wanting you to put your hand in the hand of the man that calmed the sea. Amen. Amen. Right now, he's wanting you to put your trust in him to lead you and guide you in the direction that you need to go. 
Don't worry about where you're going. Amen. Don't worry about where you're going or what's going to happen. Trust me, I'm human. Remember I said that, right? Right. I'm the first one to wake up every morning and say, God, what's going to happen today? What are you going to do today, Lord? What are you bringing my way today? Where am I going? But I can tell you one thing. I, I sometimes I sometimes sound like when Moses, when they, when they said, stand still right. and see the salvation of God, yes. that's what you have to do sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you just have to stand there. And when he told him to stand still and see the salvation of God, that's what's happened to do. The Bible also said, having done all to stand, yes. it didn't say turn around and walk away and give up. No. The Bible said when you're having done all to stand, stand there for. When you've done everything you know possibly to do, let it go and let God take control of it. And I promise you tonight that if you let God have it, the rest of it will fall into place. If you're holding on to something tonight and you need God to take care of it, it's yours for the taking tonight. Glory. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's it. You want to break through in something? You begin to push your way through. Yeah. Oh my. I got to thinking about that this afternoon about that him and your garment thing. Yeah. yeah. That's just to me is absolutely phenomenal the way that I've heard that message preached the hem of his garment probably a thousand different ways you possibly could preach the hem of his garment. Not like that. But I never heard anybody explain it that the lower part of your garment is the dirtiest part and it's still got the same healing yeah. power as the top part of his garment. Yeah. If you just reach out and touch the hem of his garment tonight, no matter if it's dirty or whatever it is, if you can just get a hold of it, yeah. Yeah. everything's going to be all right. I really am going to move out of the way. Jesus. But look, Jesus. you need something from God tonight. Yeah. This is real. Amen. This is real. Trust me. Yeah. I run across here, do a football tackle onto that, it's going to hurt. It's real. Yeah. If I run out there and hit that pole with my head, the pole's not moving. It's real. <laughs> this, if you reach out and get a hold of it, Amen. it's real. It's, real. Yeah. it's nothing put on. What's that song we used to sing? It's not form. It's not fashion. It's salvation. This salvation sent from God suits me just fine. This salvation sent from God. It wasn't sent from Paul. It wasn't sent from Peter. It wasn't sent from Matthew. It wasn't sent from Timothy. It wasn't sent from none of them. But brother, it was sent directly from third heaven. Right down to where me and you live. And it's living within my heart. It's here for the taking. It's yours if you want it. You need something from God. You can get it tonight. Don't think I'm crazy. I'm really for real. I'm human. What's this? this uh, I'm just human. Just a closer walk with me. I'm just human. But there's something different about us. Even though we're human, there's something different about God's people. You have something different in your life than most people have. They worry about, look, I ain't told all this. Thursday when they took all, or Wednesday night when they took all that stuff, these people that the property they took it from said, hey, it's your guys. Okay, it's your problem. Your guys conjured up some idea, come in here, took your trailer, and went on out with it. They don't even know my guys. They don't even know that my guys are Christians, and they wouldn't do that. So anyway, I'm just trying to make a long story short here. So, and these are good people I'm working for. Don't get me wrong. These are great people. The Lord blessed me with these people. I am not talking about these people. I'm just praying 
and whoever took my trailer got out and had 14 flats and their car broke down and all of that happened to them. That's all I'm telling you. I hope they went to bed, ate something, and got food, put something like that. I don't know if that's good or bad or however that is. That's all I can tell you. The Bible says love those that do despitefully use you, pray for your enemies, you know. So I'm praying for them. How do I need to pray for them? I mean, you know, he didn't tell us how to pray. He said, pray for them that despitefully use you. But it's all through that. Yeah, surely as humans, somebody stole your car, you'd be highly upset. So... And I'm, the only reason I talk about me is because I can't talk about you. I don't know nothing much about you, but I can talk about me. So this is what I relate to, okay? And it's safer that way, exactly. So as I went to bed, you know, and I'm all this word rededication, and I'm searching through the scriptures, you know, before I go to bed, trying to find a scripture that would fit. And, you know, I don't know if you've ever done that. You guys may not have because you're a whole lot smarter in the scriptures than I am, but it takes me a minute to find something. Even with all the computers and all that stuff that you get, it takes you a minute. But as I laid there, the Spirit of the Lord came over me. And I know, you know, everybody says, those people, they should, they should take care of it. And, and I'm not knocking anybody that told me that because that was my first thought and that's your first thought. But my Spirit says, my Holy Ghost says to me, it'll be okay, son. Love those people. Treat those people right. Do the right thing. And the rest of it will fall into place. So I went to sleep with that word rededication and thinking do the right thing. Treat those people with professionalism and dignity. And the rest of it will fall into place. And see if we as Christians would treat everybody that way. If you're having a struggle with somebody tonight, you can lay that struggle down tonight. Yes, you can. If you're having a problem in your life with a family member, I don't know why I'm saying all this. I, I really am, need to be out of the way. Okay. But I want you to know tonight that he's real. This is real. Hallelujah. What you feel is real. Yes. And if you're running from it, even though you've sat here, I've seen people sit here for over 50 years and run from God sitting right here in this church. <laughs> If you're running from it, you can't run too much farther. The end's right upon us. It's right upon us. I heard somebody the other day at a, at a Burger King. I was in Burger King over in Palmetto, and a man and his wife were talking about I didn't say nothing to him because I really didn't have a whole lot of time to get involved in the conversation. But the man said, the Lord's coming back, honey. Look right there across the street. There's some activity going on across the street. And I really wanted to go over there and get involved, you know. Hey, man, yeah, he's coming back, you know. But I didn't. But the world knows it just as much as we know it. Amen. Amen. It's coming to an end. Amen. So I love him tonight. Don't you appreciate him tonight? Amen. Don't you appreciate what God's done for us? I appreciate the Holy Ghost for everything that's within me. I appreciate it. And for keeping upon him, keeping his hand upon him. I'm going to sing. Can I sing a song? Is it okay? Sure. Just Marley, you want to help me? Molly, you want to help me sing a song? You want to sing, Amen. sing a song? I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen to you. You want to help us sing, Mom? Amen.